I was fired because my personal business was taking over my nine to five job. Over the past few weeks, some decisions have been made. Today will unfortunately be your last day. For the last year, I've been trying to run my own agency. My engagement and attention to my nine to five was falling and the company had started to notice. I was stuck in this endless loop of starting off strong and then falling off, landing me in the same position every time. But I'm seeing this as an opportunity an opportunity to go all in. And I'm going to be documenting my entire journey from being fired to financial freedom. The goal is to go from zero to $50,000 a month. And I wanna bring you guys along for the journey. Hey guys, today is Friday the 1st of March. So before we get into this video, I want to give my existing clients kind of like fake names. I don't want to use their exact names. So I've got four clients at the moment. So database client that I mentioned, we're gonna call them Superstar Database. Hotel client, hotel ship. And then I've got another database client, we're gonna call them Graph Hub. And my other client, Telecom Masters. So I've not done any recording this week, normally try and do it like every couple of days, but I just, I've just been busy. So I did a podcast on Tuesday with a company called Expandy. That went quite well. There'll be links to that on my Twitter. And I think I'll upload something to YouTube as well. So you'll see that there. As I said in the last video, we had a client drop. So we're sitting at 10K revenue at the moment. I do have one client that's just not doing anything. So that's kind of like 3K revenue just sitting stagnant that I'm not able to earn at the moment. The big focus of this week has been just minimizing churn. So minimizing clients dropping off because as I always say, it takes so much less effort to maintain a client and keep their business rather than them dropping and trying to find a new one. Every day, I've just been trying to do something for them, just a win each day for every client, just to ensure that we've got continual momentum on all of their campaigns. One of my clients that I thought was like, we're running out of ideas for them, I've just found a massive batch of leads for them. So feeling much more hopeful with that. All of them are going quite well at the moment. And the partnership that I'm working on, that's with Graph Hub the company that's using the fractional sales leader. So I said, there's potentially a lot of future business coming from that partnership. He reached out to me today, basically saying, hey, can you take on another project? That looks like it's gonna start next week. And again, it's just testament to that being such a good relationship that I just now have a constant stream of pipeline coming in from him. So other update for today is that I did tell the prospects that I'm pausing hiring. The guy that I didn't want, I told him that we're not interested in. That's kind of a hard thing to do. I just had to, again, set aside emotions and just say, look, I don't think you're a good fit for our business. But the other girl, um, she was really, really good. And she's been very eager and constantly reaching out saying, hey, she's doing like additional work, trying to prove her value. And I just said, hey, look, I need to get things back up to like a stable level financially in the company again. We'll have another conversation. I didn't want to say like categorically we would employ you because things might change, right? Things turn turn around quickly. And I didn't want to give that promise, but like she is absolutely top of the list right now. Hey guys, today is Tuesday, the 12th of March. The last week or two has, uh, again, been been largely quite stressful. There's lots of things going on, like business related and outside of the business. Been letting things get in the way as well. Like I've been playing a lot of chess recently and it is very distracting and it's distracting because it's overriding my dopamine system. And, you know, that to me was more rewarding than doing work. Past couple of days haven't been, you know, I took a bit of a step back from playing that and just tried to be more like, okay, well, I'm working I can do stuff after, but I need to make sure I get my stuff done. As well, I haven't done any to-do lists, anything like that, and they've been really, really helpful for me. I was in a massive slump for the past week, um, but I just thought, you know, let's make a to-do list or like a daily list of like, what do I need to do tomorrow? Plan the list. And it was such a difference, like night and day difference in productivity. I need to make sure I stay on top of that, but like, it's very interesting how quickly things turn around because today, I now feel like I've really got some momentum again. We don't really have anything like tangible that's different. We haven't landed any new clients. We haven't made any significant progress, but more so just because we have that momentum, I feel like things are moving in a much better direction. So I launched some new campaigns for my own business this week, and these have been my best performing campaigns to date. I think I've got like three meetings from it so far, so that's looking very positive. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but there's a potential new client coming through from that guy I partnered with. That looks really good. Um, I had a call with him last week, so hopefully that's going to go ahead in the next sort of week or two. Just going to try and keep the momentum going this week, and that's the main focus. Continual momentum, and that will get us to where we need to be. Hey guys, today is Thursday the 21st of March. Yeah, I've, I've not done much recording. I don't remember the last time I recorded maybe like a week ago and to be honest not much has been happening business-wise been doing a lot of work but 
it just feels like everything is very much like stagnated at the moment. Trying to deal with some deliverability issues on Graph Hub's campaign. That's been tough and I haven't learned my lesson with that. What, what I should be doing when I get a new client is we have 15 email accounts. Set aside five or so just in case something goes wrong, just so you've got a backup and you're protected. I never do that. And then now these 15 email accounts, they look like they've been burned and it means you can't do anything. But yeah, lesson learned, definitely gonna do that in the future. But I just had a call with one of my prospective clients. So we had the discovery, We had now we just had the sales call. I pitched them 3,500 for one campaign or 4,500 for two campaigns, $2,000 startup and then some commission. She seems very, very interested. She pretty much said, yeah, let's go ahead with it. Gonna let me know tomorrow or on my Monday, whether or not that's going ahead, but that's that's a big weight lifted because if you remember from the last video, we lost one of our clients mid sequence, Rudy. They cancelled early, so that left us in a bit of a financial situation where we're down to ten thousand dollars a month, which sounds great, but it's kind of like my panic point. Still more in the pipeline. Still got that client that has paid the startup fee but never got back to me. Just got to keep got to keep moving forward and doing what I can. I've been incredibly disorganized. The past couple of weeks, I just my head is I've just not I've just not been able to like get into a work mode at all. I kind of just sit down at the computer and I find myself just like thinking about just about random stuff. I think it's just a phase and you know you can't as much as you're like, oh focus, you need to do this, that, and the other. Sometimes you can't, you can only do as much as you can do. So just gotta keep moving forward. Hey guys, today is Wednesday the 3rd of April. So as you saw from the last clip, um, we just closed another client. So the deal on that was $3,500 a month um, and then a $2,000 startup fee for a three month contract. But yeah, that's good. That gets us back up to 13,500 in terms of revenue, which is kind of like our, our, our baseline that we need to be at really. So that, that accounts for the client that we lost before. I'm just trying to scale at the moment. To do this, I'm trying to improve my operations. So spending a bit of time, any free time that I have, figuring out how can we automate stuff, how can we improve our systems. But yeah, all that kind of stuff, anything I can do to automate a process to save me time in the long run. And also in terms of like analytics and just coming up, so I've created like a client dashboard so I can see how many emails have gone out, how many positive replies, what's our open rate over time. So I can just track everything, um, you know, all of our success metrics. I think like a big part of what I'm missing at the moment is data and tracking the data, analyzing the data, um, every Everything just like stored in my head at the moment and yeah got to start getting ready to you know hire people really because that's the only way forward is to start bringing people on maybe like a closer maybe maybe a commission-based closer so they only get paid when they close a deal for me they will just go on the calls they'll probably do a better job than I do I'm not great at sales I've never done sales before so this is all quite new to me maybe someone like that maybe as I said like an inbox manager but again can I maybe find a way to do that like automate that process myself just gonna keep moving forward with it and things will start to fall into place but there's going to come a point in time where I just have to like give it a go and bring someone on but need to make sure we have the revenue in place the cash in place to do that so that's still the objective but yeah I'm going to leave that video here I don't think there's anything else left to update so if you did enjoy the video please remember to drop a like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video